Muncher. Avengers Endgame has had a celebrated release across the globe and has now overtaken Avatar as the highest grossing movie of all time. All time. Now, three months into its release, we got treated to a deleted scene showing all the Avengers paying their respects to the fallen Iron Man by bending the knee. Rest in peace, Tony. What we also saw in the scene was something that has confirmed what we've been thinking all along, that Gamora is still alive. After watching Endgame, we were a little confused about the whereabouts of Gamora. Having seen all the Avengers in the scene preceding the battle with Thanos, there was no sign of the newly integrated old Gamora. Gamora's arc has to be the most confusing in the entire movie. We see Gamora quickly glancing at the Avengers while they pay their respects to Tony and walk away. This means that we will definitely be seeing Gamora in future movies. So where does this leave us? At the recently held San Diego Comic Con, it was announced that Taika Waititi will be back directing Thor Love and Thunder and that Natalie Portman has been cast in it as well. We will also have the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie, but don't know when that one will be coming out. Based on what we saw at the end of Endgame, we know that the Guardians crew and Thor will be doing their thing together. Remember the entire sequence between Thor and Peter Quill? We know who's in charge. Yeah. That bit definitely meant that Thor will be accompanying the Guardians on their next voyage. Whether that will be in Thor 4 or Guardians 3 remains to be seen. Peter Quill was running a search for Gamora on his ship at the end of Endgame. We don't know what their destination is going to be. Perhaps they will set out on a search for her. But where to? She did just stroll past the rest during a solemn moment, like new life, who dis? So maybe the next Guardians movie will take us through Gamora's journey of exploring Earth in the year 2024? She did just skip 10 years of her life and is a stranger to the Guardians at this point. So it would be fun and interesting to watch her unite with them and become a team. Perhaps she will be part of Thor Love and Thunder as well. Who knows? Gamora didn't particularly like Star-Lord when she briefly met him in Endgame, and she even kicked him in the groin for touching her face. The Gamora that Peter Quill is searching for is far different from the Gamora who died in Infinity War, and we have been following since the first Guardians. She does not have a connection with the Guardians at this point, as she hadn't met them until the battle in Endgame. She has no romantic connection to Peter, so they will have to start over. What will this mean for Peter, aka Star-Lord? Will he be left heartbroken? Or will he be able to charm this version of 2014 Gamora like he did with the original Gamora? She would never have known the original Groot we met in Guardians Volume 1 or Baby Groot from Volume 2. She will have to form new bonds with Drax, Rocket and Mantis. How will she take to the rest of the team? Will she turn good? Will she go bad? She may continue to battle with this newfound identity crisis for a while, creating some interesting character dynamics. Is there going to be a part of her that is still reeling from the demise of her father Thanos or the fact that she chose to switch sides? Or maybe she's made peace with it completely. We got a taste of a post-Thanos world in Spider-Man Far From Home, but we still don't know what the rest of the Avengers are up to. So what do you guys think? Will she play a part in MCU Phase 4? And if so, in which movie? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Catch you guys next time.